just heading on down to a rock mark here to have a bit of fun spinning for mackerel. But before I get into the fishing, let's have a look at the lures, the spinners that I've got with me. So I've got three lures here and three that I've had plenty of success with in the past. So working from top to bottom, at the top we've got the well-known and been around for years Dexter Wedge. This is the 28 grand Dexter Wedge. Now this is a great lure in the fact that it casts really well and it casts well into a breeze. It's got a nice action to it that you can feel on the rod tip with just a steady retrieve. And being silver, it's got plenty of flash, plenty of bling in the water. Next, another well-known lure. This is the 28 gram Abu Tobi. Now, the time I like to use this lure is when I'm spinning in shallow water, let's say up to about 10 feet, particularly if I'm spinning over rough ground. And the reason is that th this lure will work very, very shallow with just a steady retrieve. And then lastly, we've got the 28 gram Dennett Super Sprat. Now this imitates a sand eel well, and imitates a sprat well, and in imitates white bait well. But this is a great casting lure. And the time I like to use this is when I feel I need to get out a bit further. Maybe I need to get out to deeper water to find the fish. But all of these will catch but they're not not just mackerel they'll catch a variety of species they'll catch pollock they'll catch bass they'll catch sea trout and more so let's get back to the fishing but before i do i just got to give out a warning here that later on in the video i'm going to show two different ways of dispatching mackerel to be taken home to eat so that's just a little bit of, of a warning for, for those of you that don't like that sort of of thing that there will be footage of dispatching mackerel. Right, I'm ready to start fishing. Absolutely fantastic morning. It's about three hours now before high water. And if I get any action, I'm expecting the best of the fishing to be between the three hours and one hour before high water when there's a bit of movement in the tide. What I've found in the past is that when the tide starts slow, slowing down, when you get towards high water, the tide starts slowing down and the fishing slows down, even though you can still catch, of course. But that's what I'm expecting the best of the fishing to be. So, I'm going to start with the Dexter Wedge. I've got the other lures with me, but the Dexter Wedge is always my first choice. Start with that, and if I want to, I'll, I'll, I'll change. It's very, very bright this morning. We've got a, a beautiful blue sky, which is fantastic for enjoyment but I prefer it when it's, when it's very grey and very overcast. But, but it's very early in the morning. At the moment it's just after half past six in the morning, so the good news is that the sun is still very, very low and therefore the light is low, so that's a good thing. But usually I find on, if you try to fish during the day on very, very, very bright days with the sun beating down, when you're casting out into fairly shallow water, you, the fishing is not as good as when you come in low light conditions. Okay, so the method is going to be cast this out as literally as far as I can, but cast out, try to change, try different spots. So cast out in a bit of a fan. So maybe I'll try maybe two o'clock, then one o'clock, then 12 o'clock, then 11 o'clock, then 10 o'clock. Just to, just to cover as much area as I can. Now when it comes to the retrieval, the, what I like to do is, is a retrieve and pause. So I just, just steadily wind in the reel here, so I can just feel the action of the lure, the wobble of the lure on the rod tip. But then to give it a pause for a few seconds like that, to let the lure sink and then start retrieving again. And the reason that, that for the pause is, as I'm sure many of you that have fished, lure fished be before for certain species, is that many species will take the take the lure on the drop and mackerel is one of them so basically a, re a, re a retrieve and then a pause for a few seconds Oh, 
and we're in to our first fish. And that was just, just after a pause. Actually, this looks like it. This looks like it could be a garfish because it's 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 come up to the surface. I think this might be a garfish. Oh no, no, it's a mackerel. Well, I was lucky there. <laughs> Now, I'm a, an angler that likes to put my fish out of their misery rather than just popping them into a bag and then hearing them flapping for, for a few minutes while they're dying. I don't like that. So I'm going to show you today how, to, how I like to put them out of the misery. Now, I've got a priest here. So I'm gonna, hopefully, if I catch another fish, I'll show you two ways. So if you don't like this thing, I will, this sort of thing, I would pause the video now. But basically, all you need to do is just give it a, a good firm whack on the head and that's it far better far better to, to, to do it that way than to um, in my opinion than to just leave them to to expire gasping for oxygen now here's a little thing that I like to keep with me to keep the fish cool and I picked this up idea up from uh, the US and uh, it's very easy it's just basically a hessian sack or a burlap sack so it's very easy and light to to carry in your bag so the idea is that you wet it you pop your fish in and then as it dries it cools it's known as evaporative cooling i've mentioned this in previous video a couple of years ago it's known as evaporative cooling and it works really well and, and a really convenient way of of keeping your fish fresh until you can get them home well, the camera won't pick it up, but just down here in front of me, it's absolutely alive with sand hills, and that, of course, is always a fantastic sign. If there's plenty of bait fish in the water, come at the right time of the day, right time of the tide, and you've got a good chance of catching something. And while we talk about these being so close, here's something for beginners to lure fish in from the shore, and that is when you are winding your lure in, is to keep winding right to the water's edge because often a fish will follow a lure in and take it literally right at your feet. And I've often seen mackerel actually follow the lure right to the edge. So rather than sort of pulling it up out early, just keep winding if you can. And partic particularly bass fishing. Often I've caught bass when you th you, you're reeling it in, you think you're not gonna catch anything on that cast and then suddenly the silver bass appears from nowhere and grabs it at your feet. Well, there's the reason why right down here is is a lovely shoulder of sandals hey we're in again and that that took that took it on the drop Well, it doesn't matter how far you progress in fishing. I'm talking about in the in the species that you fish for. Maybe you start sea fishing off of a harbour wall, just fishing for a few mackerel and garfish, and then maybe you you want to, tar to target more sought-after species or more status species such as bass and, and mullet and gilthead bream, which of course is fantastic. But there's, there's something very, very special to me with mackerel fishing. They, they're a fantastic fish to catch and they offer fan absolutely fantastic sport. Now I'm going to be a bit, a bit more careful with this fish, getting it, getting it in.
Okay, I've already shown you one way of killing mackerel, and here's another way. Now, this appears very, very brutal, but it's actually a very good way of catching, of killing a mackerel. So I'm just going to get on with it and do it. So basically, I'm going to put my finger in its mouth, put my thumb behind its head, and then pull, pull back to break the neck. If, again, if you don't like this sort of thing, thing I would pause now. So finger in the mouth, thumb behind the head, break its head, its neck, and it kills it absolutely instantly. Looks brutal, but very, very effective. Now, I prefer to use the priest, but sometimes you might forget your priest and need another way of killing them. Or if I'm on the kayak and catching more mackerel with sabikis, then it's a bit more easier for me to do it with the with the, the finger in the mouth method. But very, very effective. And to me, far better to, to do that than to, as I said, to pop it in a bag and then and then let it let it just just expire. But each each to their own, of course. Now, anyone who's mackerel fished in the past will know that the most productive way, of course, of catching mackerel is with a string of feathers and hurling out a string of feathers. Now, of course, from the kayak, I, I do use just lower than some sabikis down vertically if I want to pick up a few, few mackerel quickly. And there's no doubt about it, of course, it is the most productive way. But in my opinion, a lot more fun can be had by, with mackerel fishing by catching them one at a time. It may not be as productive, it may not be the sort of 20, 30 mackerel in, in, half, in, in an hour, that sort of fishing. You may only pick up a few, but it, it, it's really sporty and fun catching them and enjoying the fight of a mackerel, a single mackerel. Now, the two, my two favourite ways is, of course, spinning like this and float fishing, catching them one at a time. These days, in fact, I can't remember the last time I, I went shore fishing with a, with, a, with a string of feathers. Just prefer, just prefer this method. May not, I, may not, I may not catch as many, as many, and the two that I've already caught might be the only ones I get this morning. But, I, but that's fine. I, I, I don't worry about that. If I get a few more, uh, they'll be taken home and, and made use of. But uh, it's just more enjoyable to me to fish for them this way. Well, this is getting a bit difficult now. Uh, I know this mackerel still mackerel are still here. I can see them occasionally following the lure, but I, but it's it's getting difficult to get them to take it now. And I think what it is, and this is going only going from past experiences, is this, this sun is coming up and it's becoming much much brighter in the water. It could be that, uh, or it's the fact that there's so many sand hills in the water that they their bellies are full, and they're getting a bit finicky. Mackerel are not always in a feeding frenzy. They can be quite, quite finicky at times and difficult to catch. Right, well, I'm struggling now. So, and I'm pretty sure there's mackerel there, but they're, ju they're just not. They're either gone really finicky or it's because of the very, very bright, bright conditions now. Or the brighter conditions for, since from when I started is making it <clears throat> making it difficult so what I'm going to try to do it might work it might not is we'll have a lure change and see if, if that makes any difference I'm just going to try with one of these little Dennett super sprats Perfect, it's the perfect size to imitate imitate the sort of size sand hill that the mackerel will be feeding on. So we'll just see if just see if that works. It's worth a try. The other thing with this lure, and it may it may help, I can cast a bit further further than the Dexter wedge. It's a bit more streamlined. I can probably get another another 20, 20, 30 yards. Um, and then, which would mean it'll, I'll get out into deeper water, which might help in these in these bright conditions. But who knows? And it ah oh, damn! 
Well, I had a had a knock, but didn't get it. Well, at last, I can't tell you how how hard I've worked for this mackerel. It's been about an hour and a half now since I caught the those first two mackerel. But then, as, soon, as I mentioned, as soon as that sun as soon as that sun came up and started brightening things up then it became very difficult completely dead so I'm I'm really great actually it's not is it a mac actually it's not a mackerel it is a little bass <laughs> yeah it's a little bass Well, a lovely little bass as a little bonus. Just goes to show when you lure fishing, even if you lure fishing for mackerel, you never know, you never know what, what you might catch. And that little bass was on the on the on the Dennett Super Sprat. So we get that back. And away it goes. Well, that's it. I'm going to call it a day, even though it's about 30 minutes before high water. I'm going to call it a day because it's become so bright now and so sunny with the sun penetrating down right to the seabed. I know from past experience, to be honest, I'm banging my head against against the brick wall. So I'm going to be happy with the two mackerel caught early on while the sun was still behind the cliff and it was nice and dark on the water. But as I said, as soon as that sun started rising over the cliff and it started brightening up the water, then the fishing went completely dead. So there's a pointer for you, for those of you fairly new to fishing. When you're fishing from the shore, casting out into fairly shallow water, whether you're fishing for mackerel or, or bass, you stand much more chance of success on, on a very, very dull day. Or if it is a bright day, try to come down when the tide suits, come down when the uh, crack of dawn, when the sun is really low and it's still a bit of darkness on the water. Or in the evening when the sun is going down and again, things are darkening up a bit. The fish are much more likely to be, feel confident coming into those shallows in those conditions than these conditions like this with, with, with it being really bright and the sun beating down. So I'm happy with these two, spinning for them or float fishing for them is a fantastic way to target mackerel. Now I know it's nowhere near as productive as using feathers, but that's not what this fishing is all about. It's enjoying the sport of catching mackerel on light tackle one at a time, enjoying the sport of the hard fighting wonderful mackerel. So I'm going to get these home and enjoy these beautiful mackerel. One's going to be eaten fresh today and we'll have the other one tomorrow. Absolutely fantastic. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching. <laughs>